It's just, it's just giving. It's just giving. Hey, lovelies, it's been quite a few days, but I'm going to the at-home store. Well, we are going to the at-home store. I did get my patio set delivered so i'm going to get a rug and possibly like a plant so we can set that up finally so i'm excited about that so let's go i you know did my usual morning routine or whatever i worked out and now we headed out um it's a little late this morning with my routine but we still got it done so we gonna go we gonna go to the store Guys, I just got in the house, like, at home. I went there for just, like, a little bit. I wanted to be there, like, an hour or two. Why was I there for, like, four hours? I couldn't decide. I picked the rug. I didn't like the rug. I sent the rug to, like, my friend. There was no signal, so I had to wait for it to get delivered. I had to, like, go to the front. I sent it to my cousin. Like, I was trying to pick, like, what outdoor rug should I get? And then when I finally made a decision, like, kind of on my own, um my phone started like picking up and then they were responding and then the one that i chose why they don't have it in stores they don't have it so i ended up going with like oops, sorry paxton i ended up going with like a second choice because i needed something the store is so far i did not want to drive the whole day for no reason so we have a rug and it's this pouring by the way i'm gonna show you guys that in a, in a minute it's like literally pouring like i came home in a flood but we have a rug we found a see I have this plant. It's like a three foot plant. I'm gonna put my slippers on because I did literally just came in the house. Um, and then I bought these lamps. I have a few things on here I'm gonna show you, but I got this plant. I wanted to put it outside. It's small and you know, I need like a bigger one or whatever, but I feel like maybe for now I can put it on the table. But the crazy part is all this rain, I wanted to set up the set today, I'm trying to block my address and stuff out because I didn't empty that, ignore my nails, but <laughs> I'm not even trying to show y'all the finger or nothing, but um, I wanted to set the box, set those up today. Look outside. Look outside. This is ridiculous. Like, this is ridiculous. What in the world? Guys, I'm so perplexed. Why was the lamp this skinny? Um, at the store, I thought it would work. But now, seeing it on the stand, it's too skinny. It, this this is not no-go. I have to take this back. I'm so annoyed. I know my mind looks at me on the bit because she was over there. But this is without the light being on. I'm so mad. Hey, babes. Ugh, like, today's the day after yesterday. <laughs> what? Like, y'all saw me go to at home yesterday and kind of failed at some purchases so today i went i had a full day it's like evening time now i was supposed to like talk to you guys earlier i didn't but i got up i had to take paxton to the vet so they could check him and approve you know if he can get neutered or whatever if he's healthy so he's good he's going to get neutered on monday and also he's gonna get um his hernia fixed because i saw something on his like stomach and i'm like why is that like round thing on your belly but then the doctor said she realized he has a hernia so since he's already going to be under to get his um snip snip <laughs> she's just gonna like do the other surgery so i agreed to it because she's like if i leave it it'll develop into something more so i agreed to that i'm home i had such a long day i've been up since 5 30 and it's like 3 40 now but i went at home and I returned the lamps, babes. So we have our new lamps right here. I'm going to go do this with y'all because I want to see if these work. If they don't work, I'm going to freaking cry because I'm not going back to that store. Okay. 
already a good sign. Can y'all see this? Like, and my period came this morning. I am super bloated. Like, this is not good. My period came. I couldn't even like work out this morning. But um, I think we already are off to a good start. Cause look at it. That is. Wait, can y'all see? I think the base. I was worried about black, but the base looks stunning right there. And I was going to get white shades, but then I ended up changing my mind and I got this kind of tan look. My friend was saying that they look similar, but the tan or like the beige, sorry, it has nice a nice texture. The white was just like very stark white and the table is already really white. So I wanted to try something else. I need to put the pieces together, so ignore that. I have to put the pieces on. But I feel like the tan looks good. The white was so white and plain. But let's put the other pieces in, like tighten it, but I think that looks good. Um, the shade was going to be white in the store, like white, white. But the white wasn't like, you see how my bed is like not white, but like a wolf white kind of warm color the the lampshade was stark white not a good white so ooh, i think this is a good contrast these lamps baby are lamping because the lamps that i got yesterday what the hell oh i love 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 the lamps on the stand and i'm gonna take a video when it's like darker i didn't remember this morning y'all but anyways don't I look good like the detail on the lamp for me and I have the garbage in my hand that's why you're hearing that noise but I think it looks so so good and it grounds the space really well imagine what we have our cart tots and a rug and I really was thinking of putting um mirrors behind the lamps but now with these I'm so not sure if I want to do that anymore but it looks so good you know as nice as it's supposed to but they're so cute nice mood light i love it i love it i love them it is wet outside like this thing is still in my house I, uh, it is soaking wet when i came home it was raining really bad so it is soaking wet still so i got up i'm on my cycle this is the second day when i tell you i slept poorly i was waking up i was cringing I, I wanted to throw up in my sleep like it was like a lot going on so i got up pretty early i took a shower and i'm just like okay let me just get dressed so i feel better so i have this oversized shirt on because child i am bloated and i don't feel good so i'm just wearing this oversized um shirt and i'm wearing some biker shorts underneath i think it's a really cute look my nails are still missing because I can't get a nail appointment. Um, but we're going to go to the store. I really don't want to do anything today, but I think I need to push myself to do stuff. I have to get um, a few things at Trader Joe's. I need flowers for my home, my space. I have a few things on a list, and I promise this time I'll just pick up what's on the list because I tend to go there and buy so much things that that wasn't on the list and then come home without what I actually went there for so I wrote a little list a little note to myself we're gonna go get that it's like nine right now it's pretty early they open at eight um so we're just gonna go and get that out of the way for the beginning of the day I want to tidy up my space a little bit because as you can see it's not looking that great I was laying down right there I still need to put this patio furniture out so I think that's gonna happen because this needs to go it is a little you know messy I'm not loving that for me because that's not my vibe so I'm gonna come back um I'm going to make my bed put some stuff in the wash basically um I'm gonna grab stuff for dinner tomorrow I'm definitely cooking a good dinner tomorrow like I'm not playing um last night i ordered delivery it was nasty and i'm so annoyed that i did so there's that um yeah i already took paxton for a walk i fed him so i think this is what we're wearing and then i'm going to super cute it looks very um grown-up-ish dainty i like this and then we're gonna wear um these slippers can paxton can i show them the slippers that our friend told me, which i actually love i need an appointment to get a pedicure and to get my nails done my nail girl she is booked out and i have to be looking like this but this is what we are 
wait, and I need to fix this necklace. Guys, I got this necklace from Target and I actually love it. It is so cute and dainty. I don't know, I'm gonna look if they have it on their website so I can list it, but how cute is this? It looks nice with everything. So this is what we're looking like, fresh faced. I had a wig on yesterday and with my period, I was just not feeling good. I didn't want anything on me, so I took the wig off. So well, this is what we're giving. It's very cute and grown and I feel clean, I feel good. I'm wearing, funny story, I'm wearing the Deja Vu, um, Kelly Deja Vu White, what's it, White Flower? And I mixed it with the Ebony Woods and it's smelling so, so good. I feel so just like, mm, I don't know, expensive and mature and it just smells really good. I don't know, word combination. Anyways, we're gonna go, I'm gonna go to the store. Um, my camera isn't even really charged, so I might just get only a few clips at Traders, but I'm gonna go and I'll be back. set this was sent to me by simple and opulence a shout out to them for sending this to me good okay i'm excited to go wash this and put it on my bed like what okay wow it feels so good oh my it's so soft oh my god and it's so breathable. I am so excited to wash these. Like, I'm excited to put it on.
So guys, I just got done making my bed and I'm in love. Like the lamps, they're perfect. Oh my goodness, like I love it so, so much. I'm looking at it and I'm cheesing because I love it. The aesthetic, the vibe, it feels so good. I can't wait to get my rug. Here comes Paxton on the floor. But as soon as I get a rug, this place is going to be extra cozy. And I do want to get like a small like dresser um to place like below the tv it's kind of weird how they did the door i wish it opened on the other side but anyways i want to get like a small 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 low profile dresser and then we have this empty corner right here which i want to put a mirror and a desk to do my makeup i literally found a desk that i thought i wanted to use but i'm gonna see I hope it doesn't take up too much space, but I think it'll fit and then the mirror will be right there. So it'll give you like this nice romantic like vibe and feel and then the rug. So for the dresser, let me see if I can give y'all a better idea of the space. Um, let me put y'all out here. So that's the space that we need to fill. Um, okay, I think that's better. So as I was saying to you guys, I want a dresser, but a really low, small dresser. Just to cover this because i hate this and i just don't want the tv to just be hanging there by itself i feel like it needs something to give it a more of a vibe and then the desk will be right here and i'm not gonna get a chair i might just get like a little stool and push under so it doesn't take up space because the room we don't want it to feel so cluttered and small i don't want it to feel like that and then i'm gonna have a little mirror so i can finally pack away my makeup and do my makeup right there and then or the dresser and or rug and I think we are done. I was going to put mirrors behind the nightstands but now I don't think I need them. I don't think so. It's gonna take away from just everything there. I feel like it's perfect. Like it's literally perfect. I don't need anything else. <laughs> So guys, we're finally setting up the balcony and I'm super excited. This section of the video is sponsored by Costaway. They did send over to me this three-piece patio acacia sofa set with nylon armrest. It is a sectional, guys, but you can split it in like two parts. It could be a two-piece conversation, conversational piece or you could make it be a sectional. So for me, I did it by myself. It wasn't hard, so if you don't have help, you can definitely put it together. This is what it's looking like as a sectional. The table was a little bit oversized for my space, so I will have to switch it out to something else, but this is what it looks like if you're splitting it in two. I was going to keep it as a two-way conversational piece, but I wasn't able to open the door properly. So in the end, I decided on using it as a sectional, but I feel like this is so nice it is well built and you can have many options it's really high quality the wood on this is amazing i love the detailing that's on the side i actually had to pull the table down and put it away i will use it in the future when i have a bigger space but this definitely is a set that i'll be keeping i literally went to the store and i returned my rug because i didn't like it y'all listen to me when i think that something should go somewhere i should listen to myself well i'm telling you i'll listen to me but listen to myself when i was at the store this rug was what came to mind because the chair is already so dark and then it has the dark wood i'm like i should not get a brown but when i was looking they did not have the actual rug there so i'm like oh my god it was only the display funny story when i went back to return the rug the lady said we only have the display if you want it we can give you for 25 off and i'm like i right, bet because this rug was more expensive than the actual rug that i got at first and it, the, the rug that I got was like 50, like with tax, it was like $63 or something. 
because I think it was like 49 or something. This new rug is 79 with tax and then they gave me 25 off. Best believe that the final price was exactly the $63 that they gave me for the other rug. So that rug was mine. And she's like, listen, because it's the display, you can't bring it back. It's a final sale. And I'm like, girl, it's okay. But look at the difference. Okay, it's giving patio. It's giving my kind of vibe. Y'all, I just took a shower and best believe I took the rest of my nails off because my nail girl has no appointments until like Thursday. There's just something about, you know, feeling fresh, feeling so clean and being in your own spot. Like, it's giving that girl energy. And I don't know why I feel so high, but I feel so, so clean. I smell so good. Um, I'm wearing Miss Dior. I've been loving that. I wash my hair. Like... It's just, it's just giving, it's just giving. Something about a shower, being in my little fuzzy slippers and just being in my little dress got me feeling myself. Um, anyways, <laughs> I'm about to feed Paxson. Oh, you zoomed in, but I'm gonna feed Paxson. And then I'm going to eat some dinner because I finished cooking, but I didn't show you guys. And y'all, tell me why it started to just drizzle a little bit and I took the freaking cushions out of the patio um set i know they're waterproof but why did i take them up i was just being extra when you get new things they don't use to it no i'm so annoyed because my other outside furniture had been outside and ain't nothing happened to it and i bought this thing that i put over paxton's food i bought it at i think target and i tried it i think he kind of likes it i don't know i don't know so i'm making his food I'm gonna heat that up and then I'm gonna um have my food. I bought this sandwich to try, this ice cream sandwich. I hope it's pretty good. It's time for Game of Thrones. It's actually like 909, so I know it's definitely on. So wait. Let me see if I can open this. Hold on, never mind. I'm so excited to see. I keep calling it Game of Thrones. House of Dragons. I don't know. The first three episodes. Is it two or three episodes that are already gone? I don't know. I just hope that this week it's better because it's just like I'm waiting for it to get so, so good. Yummy. We're going to have more dessert. Let's lay down. Let me get comfortable. Paxton, you can't have ice cream, sir. No. Alexa, turn off the lights. Okay. <laughs> It's time. Okay, we we're ready. Yes, let's go. Good morning. Why do I look like this, anyways? Um, I'm getting ready for the gym. It's five. Ugh. It's five eighteen. I don't know if you can see it, but it's five eighteen. Um, Paxson surgery is this morning. I have to take him in. <laughs> By 7.30, the nurse was saying if I could get there even at 7, they wouldn't mind because he has to do blood tests and different things before he's prepped for the surgery. So I'm putting my shoes on. I'm getting my drinks. I'm going to put this water in a water bottle just so it's easier. I should have took this out because it's so cold. I'm going to run it under some hot water so I can drink it. Um... I'm doing legs today. I haven't worked on it in three days. I couldn't take it anymore. So, I don't know. I don't know how girls work out when they have their period, but for me, my cycle is so, so heavy. I cannot. So, I won't try on the first few days because it's just like, I'm going to have an accident. But today, sorry, today is day four. So, I'm just like, yep, we going. Guys, I'm back. Spoiler alert. I didn't um, record. I got my hair. Ugh. Had the headphones on. My hair looked a mess. But um, I was trying to get the workout done. And I just wanted to do a good workout. So I wasn't really like paying attention to the fact that I said I would vlog a little bit. But I'm going to go take Paxson for a walk. It's 6.43. 
He's supposed to get there for seven, so I'm gonna take him for a walk. I'm getting neutered. If only you knew. Guys, we are on the way. We are six minutes away. And how did I be late? I don't know, but here we are. Hey guys, so I dropped Paxson off. Um, I just pulled up to my apartment. Low key, I was just singing and worshiping while I was driving, and I got like so, so emotional. Like, so, so emotional because God is just so good. He has been so, so good to me. He has given me more than I deserve. He has been just like good. Like, so, so good. And then I was just like listening to this song that says Be Praised by Maverick City. Every time I listen to that song, I get in, get in my feelings and I want to cry. Like this is my favorite part of the entire song. Like I don't know, this when he does this line, the tears come, okay? Every time. Because when I really think about the storms that God has calmed for me all the times when he came to my defense just glory 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 be to God I am literally a walking talking breathing miracle every single day that I get up I'm a miracle like I can tell you about the goodness of God and just how really is like if you even knew half of my story, y'all, you would understand how and why I'm so overwhelmed oftentimes because God has been so, so good to me. And I don't know what season you're in, but I just want you to know that you're not forgotten. He hasn't forgotten about you. God has a plan for your life. Like no one is living in your like your dream life no one is living in the house that you've always wanted no one is married to your husband no one is in the dream job that you've always wanted like no one is living the dream that you have for yourself you understand like no one can take what is yours before you were formed in your mother's womb god had a plan for your life like your whole entire life has already been detailed it's already been planned out like we might do things that throw off us of course and take it takes like a little longer to get to what's ours because as human beings we tend to want to do our own thing oftentimes and we don't want to include god i used to be so guilty of that but like whatever he has set out for the course of your life it can't like not find you if that makes sense you might get thrown off but eventually you will get to where you're supposed to get to like literally i don't know if that made any sense y'all but i'm just trying to give y'all a word i'm trying to let you know how i'm feeling right now because oftentimes we get so caught up in like what's going on around us we feel like oh my god how is someone there and i'm here and you know like god didn't run out of um gifts to give or run out of miracles when it was your turn like no he did not he did not like the seasons where you see like it's like dark and like there's nothing going on that's your development season because guess what the thing that you want the most you might not be ready for that you might not be in this season that you're in is when he's developing you for that said thing that you have your heart set upon because if you he gave you the blessing now you wouldn't be able to handle it because let's just use this like little analogy if you have a child like right like a three-year-old you love them you wouldn't gift them with a car no, you would give them um, a bicycle with training wheels because that's the stage that they're at. Of course you want to give them a car. You want to give them the world. You love them, but they're not ready. So you have to gift them with what's appropriate for the stage that they're in. So I don't know what the season you're in, but just know that if it's not what you want, you are in your developing season. He's developing you for greater things. And I know this is just like a very random rant or whatever it's not even around but it's just what's been in my heart i just wanted to share that with you so don't feel like you're behind don't feel like he's run out of blessings or he gave out all the favors and you didn't get any no what's yours is yours and it can't be anybody else's um i'm gonna go to my house now because i don't know yeah i'm gonna go do some alone time do some worshiping i usually don't um record or do anything on a monday today is monday because it's my sabbath day but because it was paxton's um neutering and stuff like that i'm just like i'm sharing with y'all but i'm gonna go and have some quiet time and possibly 
I'm gonna go sit on the balcony. Remember we have furniture now? So I'm gonna go sit out there and have my protein because I didn't make my protein shake, but because I was running almost like late, we got there like six minutes late. I didn't have it, so I'm gonna go have my protein shake and then probably just have some tea and just sit and enjoy some stillness and some quiet time. Look who's home. He made it. He made it. I mean, he had to have prayed for him. Hey, Baba. He keeps walking and hitting on the cone. Hey, baby. He has to keep this on for 10 days. Be careful, Paxton. Your stomach. He has like two stitches. Like, you see, he's not supposed to be running and horsing around. So they gave me some medicine. I think he needs to get the first part of that medicine because Paxton don't know how to chill or the sutures will like bust open. So we're going to get started on your medication right now. How are you? Your drugs is working? Your eyes are shutting down? He refuses to go to sleep. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's like 8 o'clock. Um, let me turn my phone off. You already know. I've been up since 5.15. I did my workout. Um, I walked Paxson. Fed him. Well, he didn't really eat. There's that. He took his medication. And now I'm... Whoa. I'm mixing bleach. Bleaching the knots on this unit because I have to do my hair today. I'm gonna record a hair video. And y'all have been asking me for updated makeup video, I promise. It's coming. Y'all, I don't know. But I'm gonna do one like I really am. The last time I tried like sitting down and doing like recording my makeup, I just wasn't feeling it. So I just ditched the video and. I'm just gonna put the bleach on this and then I'm gonna go outside to sit, have my protein while well, I need to make my protein and then I'm just gonna go read my Bible and meditate a little bit while this is bleaching like a good 30, 40 minutes. Um, but I'm here watching a vlog. I don't know, I like to watch vlogs sometimes like other people. It's interesting, I'm watching Stephanie Rose. She does a lot of like home, wait, home stuff. And I relate to stuff like that. Like, I like cleaning. I like, I don't know. I just like watching stuff like that. So I like her videos. I be watching all kinds of videos, to be honest. But I like her content. I can't really watch everybody's vlog because, I don't know, I don't find everything striking my interest. But I like watching her vlogs. Anyways, just going to bleach these knots. And Jackson is behind me watching me. And then we're going to head outside. Hey babes, I totally forgot to check back in yesterday. I ended up doing that um, hair video and recording and the whole day, child, the whole day. Like I didn't get done doing everything until like seven. Then I had to clean up and then I had to cook some dinner. I was just super tired. And then I edited that hair video the said day to send it over to the brand. So yesterday was a long, long day. And then this morning, I went to bed at like 12 and then this morning I got up at like five. Well, my alarm went off, let me not, like it was still like five-ish or whatever, my alarm went off at like 5.15 and I was just like laying in the bed, not trying to get up and I'm like, oh my God, I have to, I have to and I was so tired. So I still got up, I worked out, came back. Um, what have I done all day? I 
walk packs and I went to Hobby Lobby. I didn't bring my camera, but that was like a joke. There was nothing there. I don't know. I was trying to see if I see if I like would see any outside stuff that I could put on the balcony. That didn't not work out. Um outside of that, I went to Chick-fil-A, had me like a nice little sandwich, and then I've just been sitting on the sofa. I booked an appointment, a wax appointment, which is gonna be in the next like I think like 40 minutes or so so i think i'm gonna leave out soon just so i get on the road before it starts raining so i'm gonna do a wax and then my lash girl she's leaving on the 19th to go overseas um she's going to turkey i think so she's not gonna be back until october so i'm gonna go see her she said she could like fit me in so after my wax i'm gonna go so she can just like fix my eyelashes for me and let's see if those can last me a month they're not but i'll try my best and then that's it i'm so tired i've been like yawning non-stop Hey guys, so it's Thursday. Let me turn this car off. It's Thursday. I just pulled up to my appointment. I'm going to get what is okay. Cool. Hold on. I'm going to get my nails and my feet done. So I have an appointment for a pedicure right now at 11. It's 10:55, so we got here early, which is good. I have enough time to park and walk in. Um, and then my nail appointment is at 12. So we're gonna get that done. And I have like two different appointments because the girl that does my nails, it's not the same girl that does my pedicures. So there's that. Um, yeah. Let's go get cute because right now this is not given. And my damn overlay on my toe is coming off. Yesterday while I was working out, I felt it. I like I stubbed my toe and I felt that it was coming off. So we have to get that fixed but today. We made it! My camera was acting very stink. But anyways guys, um, there's a mall close to here and they have a Zara and I've been wanting to go to Zara so we're gonna go to Zara. I can't find my keys. But we're gonna go inside Zara's. I did my nails. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. They're red baby. They crocodile red. My toes look so so good. I'm gonna show you guys a better view once I get home. Um, but yeah, we're going to Zara. I don't even want to bring my camera. I don't even want to do all that. But if I find anything, I probably could just put it on my phone. But I'm gonna see if I'm bring my camera. Mm -hmm. 